Hi, and welcome to Tip Ticks, where I share some of my most used PowerPoint presentation tips and tricks from my career as a presentation designer. In this video, we're gonna learn how to perfect and refine with group and align, two powerful tools that will help make your presentations look clean and professional. Let's get right into it. So here we have a slide with a bunch of different design elements on it. And it doesn't look too bad, but you can tell that things aren't quite lined up with each other, making it feel a bit off. I can move the elements around, but I'm basically just eyeballing it and hoping for the best. One of the very first things you wanna do when you're in the design stage of your PowerPoint presentation is to go into view in the toolbar, go to grids and guides, and turn on smart guides. Now, with that turned on, I get these dotted lines telling me when my elements are actually aligned on the left or right, top or bottom, centered both with another element or with the slide itself, and even if an image's size needs to be adjusted to match another one on the slide. Smart Guides is an immensely useful tool for quick, accurate alignments within your designed slide, but it's not the only way, so let's look at another option. Here's that same misaligned slide again. Now, instead of dragging things around and letting smart guides tell me when my elements are lined up, I'm going to select what I want to fix and go up to arrange in the home tab. I'll move my cursor over align and here we have a bunch of different alignment options. Since I want these three things to have the same middle line, I'm going to click on align middle making sure that Align Selected Objects is also selected. I also want the title and this yellow box to be lined up on their middle lines as well. So once again, I'm going to select them. And this time, instead of going to the Home tab, I'm going to click on Shape Format and go over to the Align icon, where, once again, I'll find those same alignment options as before. This is also available under the Picture Format tab as well. Both the Align tool and Smart Guides are really handy when it comes to individual elements, but also grouped elements or rows or columns of elements that you want evenly spaced across your page. Here we have three columns of information already aligned on the left edge how I want them to be. But I can see that that center column right now isn't perfectly placed between the other two. If I start selecting each element to center it, I'm going to have to realign everything all over again for that column. So instead, I'm going to select all the elements in my first column, right click while hovering over it, and click Group. Now I'll do the same for the second and the third column, but I'll use the keyboard shortcut Option Command G. If you're confusedly watching this as a PC user going, what the heck is a command key? Uh, your keyboard shortcut to group is actually control G. And if you do want me to do any PC versions of my videos, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. So once these three sections are grouped, I can select them all, go into my align panel and hit distribute horizontally, which will align the middle column perfectly between the two on either end. Another option is to select that center column and adjust it manually using smart guides to make sure it's placed evenly. When it's perfectly spaced between the other two, two small red arrows will appear indicating that those two spaces are actually equal. Having these columns grouped means I can do this in only a single step rather than having to do it multiple times for each element. I often find myself using the distribute tool when I'm doing timelines or charts or elements that need to be evenly spaced across my page. And another helpful tool within PowerPoint is that that distribute tool allows you to decide if you want to distribute the elements based on the slide size or just the elements selected. On the left, we're going to use the default that we already had selected, which is align selected objects. And I will choose distribute vertically. As you can see, it's distributed the circles based on the location of the top and the bottom ones. For the one on the right, let's select Align to Slide, and then again, Distribute Vertically. And now it distributes all of the circles evenly across the height of the slide. 
This also works with distribute horizontally as well. Many times with presentations, designed does not necessarily mean finished. So I might be giving a client a designed deck and they're still gonna go in and tweak the text until it's exactly what they need. Unfortunately, that sometimes means pasting text in from a different program that messes up the formatting. Luckily, there is a quick fix for that. If you ever find that you've pasted in text and it has completely messed up the styling, you can select the design text that you want the rest to look like and click on Format in the Home tab. Now select the text you want to change and voila! It changes right before your eyes to what you want it to look like. If you have multiple that you want to change, select your design text and double click on the Format tool. This acts as a hold and allows you to format multiple pieces of text at once. To turn it off, simply click on a blank area of the slide. If you've pasted an element that has more formatting differences than just text style, you can also use this tool to duplicate entire object styles. Let's say I actually want my first two body copy sections to look like it does in section three. I'll click on the edge of that text box, not the actual text, but the text box itself, and double tap that format tool. Then I'll click on the other two text boxes in section one and section two. And there you have it. All three boxes now match. All right, so we've covered aligning, grouping, and formatting. Let's go over what we've learned and how they can be useful in your presentations. The Align tool can help put the finishing touches on your design presentation by keeping everything straight, even, and consistent. Smart Guides make designing a snap with its helpful indicators, allowing you to quickly see where your design elements should be placed when dragging them around the slide. You can group related sections of content to make moving and aligning them easier and ensure elements like headings and body copy stay together even when being moved around the page. And finally, using the format tool can take a load of time off formatting and reformatting your content. Simply design one, and paint that style onto the rest. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to perfect and refine with group and align. Hit that like button and subscribe if you wanna see more PowerPoint presentation tutorials or comment below if you have any suggestions on what I should do next. Have a good one.